Everyone associated with the club was devastated when the news broke of the death of Tony Kello last Sunday. Tony was a true city legend and one of the best players ever to wear the red and white of Exeter City. As the club's record goal scorer, he will always have a place in Grecian hearts. But it went further than that with Kells. He was a character, larger than life, and everyone knew it. He had the gift of taking people and the fans along with him. That made him stand out more than just being a footballer. On the pitch, he was a crucial part of some of the club's finest moments. The phenomenal Kello and Beer partnership and the great 1980-81 FA Cup run. Who will ever forget that hat-trick against Leicester City? He finished that season as the country's top scorer to win the Golden Boots, proving him to be the, one of the best goal scorers outside the top flight. In 2003, Kells was invited back to the club. He was apprehensive about the reception he would receive. He shouldn't have worried. Fans, friends and former colleagues were here with open arms and the hello, hello, Tony Kello chant was instantly back on the terraces. He was back at the park to the place we know he really loved and with people who really loved him too. A piece of Exodus City's history has now departed and we will all miss the company of an Exodus City legend. Whilst we feel for our own loss, we can think of the family and close friends whose loss is so much greater than ours. Let's now remember King Tony with a stirring minute's applause. St. James Park. <laughs>